Here's some interesting information for you RVers out there. Uh, you know how people use their iPhones and they find interesting ways to uh, use their phones? Well, the people at Tesla have also been watching how people have been charging up their vehicles uh, by traveling across the country. And where there haven't been superchargers, a lot of people use RV parks. Uh, the unique thing about the uh, Tesla Model S vehicle is that it can pretty much be charged with any type since it has its own charging uh, setup within the vehicle itself. So it can use 30 amp, it can use 50 amp, and of course it could use the 110 too. So now comes their new car called the Model X. And the Model X is actually the first electric car designed also to tow trailers. It is actually going to have up to a class 3 hitch. In fact, on some of the test photos here, you can actually see where a Model X was actually pulling a trailer down the freeway. So this is a very, very interesting situation for us RVers. Because technically what you could do is if you were to lease or to buy a Model X and you were to have a small trailer, it would be very, very interesting to see how far across the country you could get uh, using a Model X as long as you were going each night to a RV facility that had full hookups and meaning that it would have the ability to charge uh, your vehicle overnight. Um, and you would think at some point too, uh, even uh, trailers would have the ability so that when they plug in their trailer, they would have a special port on the end of the trailer where therefore the Model S could actually plug into the trailer. So anyway, just wanted to bring that to your attention. I think it's going to be very, very interesting uh, from the standpoint of somebody who wants to kind of be green, who wants to see if they could get clear across the United States without using a drop of fuel, uh, and have some fun along the way to see how this Model X would actually work for them.